Resonance is one of the most important concepts in organic chemistry. It can be used to explain the reactivity of various molecules, including stability and instability, acidity versus basicity, that kind of thing. Um, it's also kind of hard to get your mind around the first time around. So, the thing about resonance is resonance involves electrons in p orbitals only. The quintessential example of resonance is benzene. Benzene can be drawn either this way or it can be drawn as this way. Either way is correct to draw benzene, but benzene itself doesn't exist as one structure or the other, but instead exists as a mixture of the two, an average of the two. Problem with using this average structure is it makes it very hard to predict reactivity. So instead we use resonance structures. We denote that these two structures represent the same structure by this arrow. This arrow is the resonance arrow. it denotes that these two are actually the same compound. The only difference is just where the electrons in the p orbitals currently are located. Now, important thing about resonance structures. First of all, they represent the same molecule. Also, atoms cannot move. If you move the position of an atom, it's not a resonance structure. So that means hybridization of atoms is the same. If you change Hybridization, you have, you have not drawn a resonance structure. So hybridization is the same. Other thing, protons, electrons, neutrons, all of those are conserved. More importantly, charge, net formal charge. is the same. Very important there. So if you go from a negatively charged molecule to a neutral molecule, you didn't draw a resonance structure because you have changed the net charge of the molecule. Other thing in resonance, you cannot make or break sigma bonds. The only things that you can do, the only legal moves in resonance, Are the following. You can move a pi bond to become a new pi bond. That's what we see in benzene. These electrons go there, those electrons go there, these electrons go there. You can use a pi bond and change it into a lone pair 
on an atom. Providing that's, of course, in a p orbital. Or, you can take a lone pair, provided it's in a p orbital, and make it into a pi bond. These are the only, only three things you can do when predicting resonance structures. You cannot make or break sigma bonds. Other things. Nitrogen, oxygen, chlorine, fluorine, bromine, iodine, these atoms must obey the octet rule. have to have eight electrons. And the last thing that's important is that resonance structures cannot have a C plus or a C minus. These two things, if they're present on the same molecule, makes that molecule an impossibility. It's too high in energy to even be considered. So you can have an O plus and an O minus, or an N plus and an N minus on the same structure, but you cannot, cannot have a C plus and a C minus on, a, on the same structure. These things just cannot coexist. Okay, now, resonance. What is it? It's a sharing of electrons. Resonance is basically an average, weighted average, between two very similar Lewis structures. The only thing difference between these Lewis structures is the distribution of electrons throughout p orbitals.